So Nick and I are the members of the Bluetooth integrated mobile application group. Um, our sponsor has elected not to um, not to be named due to competitive reasons. So we will attempt to make this as generalized as possible, but while still getting our point across. Um, we use Android um, Android Studio to develop an application that would integrate with external Bluetooth devices. Android Studio is a uh, is a Google sponsored, um, also by JetBrains, just separate companies, um, that to uh, speed along the development of Android applications. Um, we'll use Bluetooth 5.0, which Nick will go into a little more detail with. So Bluetooth 5 is the newest version of Bluetooth that uh, came out a few months ago. And that being a big part of our project, it kind of, the the biggest thing about this is that it has increased range and we're able to connect up to multiple devices, which was a must for our client. Um, so our plan when receiving our uh, description of the project from our client was to create this application that'll be able to connect to multiple devices, um, have an app that is easy to use for the target audience, and have a notification system where a Bluetooth device is, device is activated and that will send a notification to the user so they can do whatever they need to with that device. Um, we also have a wireframe on our poster here that kind of goes through the general layout of the application with paired devices and notifications and uh, where that would be in your settings to connect a Bluetooth device. Uh, Zach is going to go through a video of uh, what our app looks like. So this is a screen recording I took earlier of me using the app. Um, so you just start from the home screen just like you would anything else. Um, you'd go into your Bluetooth settings. You'd pair, of course, this is just my headphones. If we stop right there. This is just headphones that I have sitting on my desk. I just paired them through Bluetooth. Just pretty much any Bluetooth device with a button on it will work for this. But we just chose my headphones because I just had them. Um, so after you pair, you'll go into the application and it will send you a notification saying Bluetooth is available meaning there's a device it will detect the name of the device as well and if we go back a little ways you can see that once I push the button on my headphones you'll get a toast that's just that little pop-up notification there as well as a notification inside of your notification manager that is accompanied by a sound but since we're paired to headphones it goes through the headphones <laughs> Um, so that will work if you click that if you click on that notification it will take you right back to the application so let's say you're sitting there and you get the notification you can click it and it'll take you right into the app and it'll show you um, which paired device has been triggered and you can do this multiple times as you can see here and there are some practical uses for this application um, of course not neither of these is what our client is doing with it but a uh, main example would be a home alarm system. You could pair multiple home alarms to your phone and then through Bluetooth you could receive notifications easily. Since Bluetooth uses about the same amount as uh, Wi-Fi does, the system would work at least as well. Um, but yes, thank you, thank you all for listening and we hope you have fun at the Expo.